your body can sometimes describe things that words cannot express. And yes, you got it. (laughs) You know, it's like, what I mean by that is um, late last year, I came across an article in psychology today and the whole article was on how the arts can actually reshape dementia care. Yes. And what was fascinating was that there was a lady named Ann Basting, and she's a professor. She's a founder of this nonprofit that's devoted to storytelling. And she was sharing all these ways of how to reinvigorate a relationship with someone who's got dementia. And she shared a really interesting story. She said one time she was sitting down with a gentleman who had no language left. And so she asked him, can you show me how water moves? And he danced for 30 minutes showing how water moves. And she was just like, look, you just don't know what's inside of people who have had the privilege of expression taken away from them until you try to open it up out of them again. Yes. And I thought that was so powerful. So powerful. So true. That's wonderful. Actually in dementia, I mean, it is tremendously powerful dance movement and music and um, people being able to maybe in some ways, like really bring them back to life, back Mm. into their bodies, bring the soul through, you know, and um, remember things and recognize things. It's, it's tremendous. It's also incredible. Like in places, you know, if you think about, you know, trauma, well with trauma, um, you know, we leave our bodies in some ways, you know, Mm. our souls, parts of us can fragment away and they get Mm. locked, you know, they get, they get buried to their hiding, so to speak, to hide, to get, find safety. We get cut off in certain ways. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we shut the heart. I mean, that's like the whole being born into fear that I was taught about, you know? So, um, so with the dance and like I talk about those healing states, you know, we access, we can, like you're saying, we can access this expression or this um, these parts of ourselves. <laughs>